Welcome back, guys, to Persona 5 Royal. Well, last episode, after not being taken out for a fancy buffet meal by Mishima to reach Moon Confidant Rank 4, we arrived at the school on the 15th of June to investigate the students being blackmailed. Learning that the kids were being paid to unknowingly transport drugs in an envelope and were pictured doing so, then forced to pay the mafia to keep it all under wraps. The investigating soon continues after a text. I shake with desire. Has she ever Am I just imagining things or has my teacher just messaged me? I shake with desire. Like I was just like looking down like has she ever messaged me of her own volition before? No, and that's the first text I get. What? <laughs> it's Becky, the maid who shakes with desire to see her master. I'll come to you again today, starring at only 5,000 yen. <laughs> I'm sure you know, but I didn't get requested tonight. It would be great if you could request me. Well, I can become closer with Kawakami, thanks to the temperance persona Makami. <laughs> Kawakami Makami? Sure. They do have a lot of uh, parts of their name the same. Make sure you accept Kawakami's invitations as you gain her trust, okay? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what was that about not contacting your personal means teacher? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we had anything. There was no crossword, was there? Yeah, you're the best, master. I'll be there soon, so wait for me. Ooh, an extra visit. Hey. <laughs> so, master... I want to provide more services for you. <laughs> I mean, I thought we already thought, like, no. What? What are you scheming? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I should say that. that would be great. If I lose my phone at school, there is a text with the subject header I shake with desire with your picture on it as a profile picture. You're... What? <laughs> I'm assuming that would be great would be the right answer, but I actually have to ask what she's scheming this time. Definitely not. I'm definitely not scheming anything, meow. What? I just want to get requested more. I request you when I can. I'm really good at giving massages, meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. What's with the change of heart here? Well, how was that? What? She's died? Ugh. The thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts. But he said that he prioritizes younger women. <laughs> I think we'll add, how rude. Because I really don't think it's a good idea to say no surprise there or how old are you. Seriously, you didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty, and the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now, see? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Master, would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? Yes, you do. You're pushing it's not right, I know that for certain. You need to love yourself. I'll go with... You need to love yourself. Because self-worth matters more than your... How other people perceive your worth. Huh? I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. Oh! But you're right. Go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Well, we ranked up. And it is really good to rank you up. <laughs> I think, mean, what is it? Our next one allows us to. Alright. 
spend more time off by the look of it? Uh, I have to confess so... something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie too. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I can't go. Or I already knew that now. That I said, oh, what? Can I? <laughs> But also, it seems like the best option. <laughs> I can't, you're, unless I'm like delivering as, you're a bad teacher. <laughs> Does that raise anyone else's hackles, me saying that in your ears? I guess I'll put, I'm, I'm just going to put, I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Uh, let's put an end to this. Wow. <sighs> Thank you for using our service. Don't ever say that again. Oh, what? It's so humid. Oh, it's so stuffy in this bag. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Shady drug deals in Shibuya is the same organization behind both this and the extortions. Alongside the phishing scams that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant factory Fire, a worker from the restaurant giant Hanuria, has... was arrested for us and has. Though he admits to the charges, he claims to not know why he did it. This industry is raising eyebrows. Oh yeah, something weird happened in food service before, right? Some employee cooking naked? Oh yeah, I remember that. With all these extortions and scams, the world's, world's, world's really messed up. Wait, we keep hearing about this. Is this going to be a major plot point about the naked person? I don't get it. I saw Nijima arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was that all about? I hear her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. Need to focus. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. <laughs> Let's hold off for today. Surely we have to do this. No, oh, do I hold off or do this? <laughs> do I actually have the option to do that? Ah, right, let's just push through. If only we waste time. Wait, we're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet, let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. All right, let's go. Just as we planned. No, there's police right there. We might end up running into the mafia. Be ready for anything. Uh, the police. The police are in the mafia's spot, I'd like to point out. Makoto's right there. <laughs> this guy's got a deathly smile. Look at the... Ah! Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes of it. I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? Nah, that can't be... No, it can't be. She hasn't got her manga. So, you're right. Hmm? Once again, nothing to report. There are many people falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear and disappear as they please. Not only that, but they blend in with normal teenagers. Stop complaining. If we don't try getting information, people will say the police are useless. The media are already on our case, and the higher-ups aren't doing a thing. This is bad for morale. Aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm not interested, but it's nice to see the Kamishida's branched out into drugs. I guess I'm just busy at the moment. Well, that's disappointing. 
Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. I mean, it's just what you're wearing, man. Inconspicuous is not what you're trying to go for. Skullhead. Skullhead, brand, brand, brand. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Kip? Don't see guys like me very often. I want a part-time job. <laughs> Oh, is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Don't play dumb with me. Are you confusing me with something, with someone else? I've got a friend around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's here there today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. I see. Oh, maybe this other person would know something. Apparently he's near the train station, so let's go take a look over there. Wait, that was actually what I'm supposed to do? I mean, I think he'd probably know what's going on here. Corvid. <laughs> right, nothing else is going on. Obviously, I've got to go back to the station way. Guess I can't take the Big Bang Challenge. The, the Velvet Room isn't even there. Miss President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. Then I'll check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I'll gather some more intel on the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end, Ollis. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. No! <laughs> Two too. Oh. Seem to be working up. Did you find any clues? I'm looking for someone. Hmm. Hmm, you're trying to find a homeless person? That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but I would bet there are some in the underground area. Hmm. Underground? Hmm. I don't like the idea of it, but we should go check it out. I've been there quite... I'm, I'm pretty sure I've talked to this person multiple times. Did I buy a ticket? I can't remember if I did or not at this point. Hmm. Hello, I got Shibuya just fine. But there was a homeless guy out where we were supposed to meet. I had to run away from him. Yeah, when you go down the stairs out of the jail gate, I'm in the square now. I was so afraid. He was sitting by the wall. Yeah, yeah, huh? On, Thank you for the accurate information. Hmm? Hey, I was on a message board the other day and came across this. Bill 10,000 at HQ. Huh, is that code or something? Seems a little suspicious. Yeah, a lot of people have been having weird conversations like that online. Secret deals on random forum boards. I think you missed the date for the one you did buy, probably. <laughs> that still means I can claim my winning, surely. What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. A part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. Okay, how do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area around now. But just so you know how to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases. Code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Yep, yeah, a little bit. Ah, so you've grabbed something already. Has to be expected of someone like you, Ollis. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Apparently, they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. My end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables, and something about snow tomorrow. I will go observe, just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? Alright. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious-sounding place. 
be in the arcade. It's definitely the arcade of all of that, right? High paying jobs, not very code wordy. Some near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I suppose they've got to head everywhere though. But I don't really have much of a choice. I don't know where to go for that. 500,000 yen for just one video. You may even get more if you're popular. <laughs> I can do... I can make videos! Ah, you want to be in one of our videos? I guess I can't say there's no demand, but our company only hires girls. Sorry. Hey. Be in a video? What kind of job is that? Though I guess that doesn't have anything to do with drugs. It must not be him. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Alice. There's nothing over here. Look, someone's asking about a video shoot over by the trains, but I guess that's for models. In any case, they're not here. Go try seeing what Ryuji and Yusuke have. Sure. Come on. It's one of the weirdest anecdotes in my life that this was a job recommended to me by my parents. <laughs> and I'm still reeling on that one. Hello, young man. Would you happen to know how I could board the Inogami line? Uh... <sighs> Go down those stairs, then turn left. Be careful, Granny. Oh, Shibuya is so complicated. These bones don't move like they used to either. How troubling. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Oh, Alice. Sorry, my lead didn't end up being anything. That dude at the stairs, pretty misleading, huh? Sheesh. Oh, what about Alan and Yusuke? You should go check on them. Hey, Granny, you okay? You're looking pretty shaky, so I don't mind giving you a hand. Oh, look at good boy Ryuji over here. Good boying everywhere. I can't even buy anything. I told you that drug is perfect. Deliver it quick. I've heard it's super effective. Even the most barren deserts will become lush forest of deserts. Even sorry, will become lush forests of hair. No. Hey. So that's who Ryuji was talking about. Lush forests. I don't really want to know. I guess I can see how you'd mistake him for what we want though. See, I'd love a full head of hair, but I don't want to live my life on a subscription service. Do you get me? If I can help it, that's the main thing. It is just vanity, too. I was simply wondering where the arcade is, so I'll be going now. Okay, you're a high school student, aren't you? You better not be looking for trouble. What kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. Video games? What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. Is it? Wow, you're flashy. My shift's finally over. Oh, I feel awful. I drank a shit ton. <laughs> I didn't know that was one word. Maybe I should find a new job. You know, any opportunities for making money quick. I mean like those sneaky guys in the back alleys. You probably have to swindle some kids. God, I could never be a pusher. I don't want to get arrested. Probably should have identified them as hosts, to be fair. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. hey, you don't need to be at the arcade right now. Why not visit another time? Where's the back alley? Uh oh. The arcade is the interesting place. I don't actually know where the back alley is. <laughs> Have I never been there? Hello. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Ah, uh, well, Shibuya's a big place. I don't know where the back alley is. <laughs> well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. 
Then I was right. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Violence is not the answer, dear sir. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. I'm a man. <laughs> Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I'm going to go now. Traps? You set everything that out boss front seems of tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. How about it? Want to meet up? What, what, what to do? You guys can decide. Do you think it's safe though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let's disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, oh, that must be what they call hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Uh, hello? Happy hour. Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. All well, my days are being stolen. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. Ha yes! <laughs> I love it. Like, every dialogue prompt is exactly how I'm thinking. Are we really that predictable as human beings? Do you know what I mean? I'm like, did you go through school files to get my number? How have you got my number? I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Can't say for certain. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Crossword puzzle time. In other news, there was an arson incident at a factory belonging to a restaurant giant, Hallelujah. An employee was arrested, but claims to be unable to recall any details of the crime. When questioned about his motive, the employee insisted he did not know what came over him. Incidents with suspects whose motives are unclear have been happening often in the restaurant industry. <sighs> it's weird that they don't remember. How is anyone supposed to prevent these weird crimes? All right, let's look to fire this to see who's got stuff going down. And of course, we now know we have to go this far out to see if something else is going down now. Ooh, do we spend some time with Sujiro today? Because we really should, because he's we now know more about like him not getting any money for looking after us. Hey, hey! Alright, crossword time. Changes with the season. Skeletons hang out. Decorative pattern. I think I get the theme already.
in a dark, dark house, there were some dark, dark stairs. Where three skeletons lived. Change it with a season, yeah. There's a theme! There's a theme! So this decorative pattern, what's that? So of course, down we've got skeletons hanging out, which is closet. Then because we know like things like golden, etc., things have generally themed like illnesses, etc. Change it with the season, we literally just change our school uniform. And then I stared at the letters a bit and went, ah. Oh. But this, however, decorative pattern. This I don't get. <laughs> so, like, E's the second letter. If this is correct, but that should be. Spring Sprange. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a wardrobe, I'll have you know. Just decorative pattern? Why can I not get this? It's always one I'm stuck on. Say. Say. <laughs> Oh no. Decorative pattern down. Six letters. Design. God damn it. I've got it. The answer is wardrobe. <laughs> Japanese school students change their wardrobe twice annually in the summer and the winter for comfort's sake. It's said that the practice originated in China during the Edo period. People were supposed to change their wardrobe four times a year. All right. I see. Wow, even I can figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smart after solving these crossword puzzles. <laughs> that one was at least a little bit earlier. Can it's so funny, it's like, it's so these skeletons in the closet. I'm like, okay, I get that. So the theme might be that. And then I'm like looking at letters and going, okay, eight letters, change of the season. Related to closet, it's still the same basically thing as another word for it. And then it's just the other one is like, eh? Maybe I'd be terrible at word searches. I'm starting to wonder. Nice. I reckon if there were anagram puzzles, I'd be bad at that too. I should speak to you before we hang out with... I'm going to hang out with Sajiro. No matter what we do, that girl won't let us get away. We really shouldn't underestimate her. I feel like we've been shunning the poor guy. We need to help out some more. After all, we can't call uh, Kawakami till tomorrow, isn't it? Unless Kawakami calls us, as we now know. Got time right now. Still some time left on the clock today. How about it? I can teach you the ropes. Yes, we've not got enough yet. We're just trying to build up at the moment. All right then. Put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. I do wonder if it's better to do this versus cleaning. Might be better to do cleaning. But we're building up a relationship, and that's what matters. If I do cleaning, thanks. I get stat right. Hey, thanks for helping out. It's just me, or are there a ton of police here today? I've got a job you could do. Want to hear more? Another psychotic breakdown. Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. So, we meet again. But my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky... There haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? <laughs> I have no idea. 
no clue at all. To be honest, if I say a criminal, I would think it's just uh, it's just following a pattern because Kamashi does a criminal, Madarame is a criminal. What's wrong with saying that? The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. I mean... If I told him we just divvied about until it fell into our laps, that probably would leave him a bit, like, aghast. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. Man, we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? We just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. I haven't been following the conversation because I've been listening to the people murdering whatever song that is. <laughs> but who could that be? <laughs> yeah, no way we just happen to know someone who'd... Wait, that journalist! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? The business card says Ichigo Oya of Mayasa Newspaper? Mayasa? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. A lot of vowels. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Evening again? Hey. You're coming home late. I hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. <laughs> the chief's as sharp as ever, but it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Oh, can I actually improve you now? But it's, uh, it's teacher night. 